gotta motivate. Get up and keep going. Celebrate this life you've been holding. Demonstrate your love and devotion. And everybody get up and get up. It's time to get it moving, y'all. Step up your game. You gotta motivate. Get up and keep going. Celebrate this life you've been holding. Demonstrate your love and devotion. And everybody get up and get up. Motivate. Get up and keep moving. Celebrate this life is no illusion. Demonstrate the skills you've been using. And everybody get up and get up. Welcome back to another review by Zonville. In today's review, we're going to be taking a look at five flavors that came to us by way of Ripe Vapes, which you can find at ripevapes.com. So you know how we roll, peeps. We're going to go to the website. We're going to get some pricing information. Then we're going to come back here and have ourselves a big vape session. Who what are we going to use? We're going to use this. So let's have a quick toot, and we'll go to the website. And welcome to the brief online tutorial for Ripe Vapes. Now let's check out their website. You can find Ripe Vapes at ripevapes.com. And this is their main page. I believe recently they actually moved to a new facility. And this is the lineup of juices that they offer at this time. Coconut Thai, Key Lime Cookie, Monkey Snack, Pear Almond, and BCT. Now as you can see, they have 30 mil bottles for $25. Those come in Nick levels of 0, 3, 6, 12, and 18. Ripe, having a, arrived at such a stage of growth or development as to be ready for reaping, gathering, eating, or use as grain or fruit, completely matured. And that will do it for the brief online tutorial for Ripe Vapes, handcrafted juice. Now, back to the review. Before I start, I must point out I did receive these pre charged for the purpose of conducting a review. But my opinion of the product will remain true, honest, and accurate as always. Let's have a look at their label. Handcrafted juice. And it's J-O-O-S-E. <laughs> and then over here, it says ripevapes.com. And it'll have a lot number. Or I should say a batch number. And on the back, it says keep away from children. 18 years old to purchase, do not ingest, contains nicotine, propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, natural and artificial flavors, may contain trace elements of peanuts or other nuts. Uh, this, of course, came from lot number 11, batch number 13. So, since we're on pear almond, let's start with that one. Now, I have that loaded up in my... Tobe Storm 3.5 and it's dual microcoiled to I got to turn on the on the 722 mod. This is an old, old favorite of mine. Old. It's not even that old. It's maybe a few months. 0.6 ohms. So we're gonna fire this at max 22 watts. <clears throat> now, this is a very, very delicious combination of pear and almond in the title, of course. Um, it's a very, the, the almond is there more than the pear. But it blends together very nicely for how it's done. All day vape worthy? Hmm. Personally, not to me, but I'm sure 
that there will be people that will love this all day. Um, flavor profile on this one, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Throat hit, I'm going to give it my mild, which is a 6 out of 10. And the vapor production, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for consistency and plenty of So next we're going to take a look at key lime cookie. And I have that loaded up on my Cerebus. Is it Cerebus or Cerebus? Cerebus, yeah. My Cerebus atomizer, which is tri-coiled. It's a tri-dual coil that's right about 0.6 ohms. This is a hard, tricky atomizer to build, peeps. And I have it on my Hades mod, which is in hybrid mode. There it goes. Mmm. Let me hit this one more time. Very nice. Key lime cookie. I wonder if that means limes from the keys? Or are they talking about the flavor key lime? It's a very... It's not too sweet, but it's sweet enough. It's kind of like... It's kind of like they took a key lime pie, the filling from a key lime pie, and they put it in a sugar cookie, or they put it on a sugar cookie. Either way, it's still really good. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Now this one I would consider to be an all-day vape. Throat hit, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. The vapor production, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for consistency and plenty of coconut tie. I think I'm saying that right. Yeah, Thai. Which I have loaded up in my IGO W4, which is dual microcooled to 1.2 ohms because I have it on one of the old ones, a Vamo V5, which we're going to fire at its max 15 watts. Who says you can't get it? Oh, excuse me. Who says you can't get good vapor production from a Vamo? <clears throat> Lovely. As Green would say, clouds, bro. Clouds. Now, coconut tie is basically, I'd say it's coconut milk mixed with the uh, a Thai tea. Um, flavor profile on this one, I'm going to give, I'm going to give this one, I'm actually going to give this one, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Throat hit, I'm going to give a 6 out of 10. And a vapor production, I'm going to give a 9 out of 10 for consistency and plenty of it. It is called VCT. Now, can you take a guess at what VCT stands for? Come on, peeps. You guys should have this figured out by now. Which I can turn it on. I have it loaded up in a K-Fun 3.1 with a nano kit. And it's at 1.5 ohms microcoil build with cotton. On my Vamo V2, which is this is like the original Vamo that I started with, because it's got my J Wrap Zombie with the old hat that I used to wear. I retired it. <laughs> 15 watts. Mmm. 
Very nice. <clears throat> Now, VCT. VCT stands for Vanilla Custard Tobacco. This is a really good vape. There's more Vanilla Custard than there is tobacco. I'm going to give the flavor profile on this. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Throat hit, however. With the tobacco in there, it kind of lifts the throwing it up some for some reason. So I'm going to have to give that a 7 out of 10. And the vapor production, I'll give it a 9 out of 10 for consistency and plenty of it. last one, my peeps, is called Monkey Snack. <laughs> Monkey Snack. And I have it loaded up in an Atlantis that I have re-wicked the coil on. And... I'm going to fire this at 30 watts on my Hanadana Canazana clone. No logos. Mmm. Best of the bunch. Monkey Snacks is a peanut butter and banana vape really good it's like a very creamy smooth peanut butter i'd say the peanut butter is along the lines of say a jiffy and banana fresh fruit banana awesome makes a great combo flavor profile on this one i'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. i like this one the best out of the five that they sent me throat hit i'm going to give a mild six out of ten and the vapor production, I'm giving 9 out of 10 for consistency and plenty of it. So there you have it, my peeps. That's five from Ripe Vapes, which you can find at ripevapes.com. You can also find them on Facebook. Give the owner a shout out here for sending these on to me. Greatly appreciate it. Wonderful juice, most of which I could consider an all day vape. Um. Would love to see you come out with strictly a uh, a type of custard and some uh, some kind of menthol mix. Not 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 a custard and menthol. No, no, no. just a, you know strictly a custard without the tobacco and like a fruity menthol of some kind would be really good. You know, maybe like along the lines of say. Uh, A mint apple, you know, yeah, maybe maybe paired up with something like some kind of tea or something. That would be cool. So I hope you enjoyed the review. Please subscribe to my YouTube. And as always, my peeps and peepettes. Happy vape.